What's up guys, Marco here from Crypto Mini Lab and in today's video, as I promised you last time, I'm gonna be doing another video about immersion cooling mining as well as overclocking in S1995 to hash. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you step by step on how to push the limits on your S19 to reach higher hash rate that you could not do without the immersion cooling. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you all the components that you have to upgrade as well as and how to go into immersion mining. If you're interested guys, stay tuned, watch the video till the end. Okay, so first of all, let me show you the, the three component we have here, not three actually, the fourth, including if we include the, uh, the immersion cooling system. So first of all, you need an ASIC miner. In our case, what we have here, this is an S19, uh, 95 tera hash. The second thing you need is a power supply, a capable power supply. This is an aftermarket power supply uh, the in, in order to reach higher hash rate the miner has to draw a lot of lot, lot lot more of power so basically the stock power supply is not capable of providing that much of power so we need a, an aftermarket power supply this is rated at 6,000 uh, watts and it can run up to 7,000 when it's uh, liquid cool the third thing we have here is this is a control board, but it's not a control board actually. What this is, what you can, the way you can understand this is like a picky bag when it comes to ECU training on cars. So what do you have here? This is this this control board works in parallel with the with original uh, board control board. So it intercepts the signals from the uh, uh, the stock uh, control board and it sends the different signals from the other side, and it comes with. All necessary wiring and everything so you can go with a with an aftermarket firmware of course but in some cases where you don't have the uh, some of the s19 variants they don't have the uh, the uh, SD card slot which is located in the back in our case we have that but some some of the variants don't have that so this is a good option as well so this is what you need into uh, push the limits of your s19 to the uh, to, to hash rate that you cannot imagine when you are you, when you are doing air cooling, so let's go first. Th first thing we need to do is we're gonna swap this uh, this uh, power supply as well, and we're gonna install this control board so we can access and uh, uh, push the uh, modify the frequency as well as the voltage for the for the miner. Okay, let's do that. So we're done with the uh, swap of the uh, power supply. As you can see, this is a direct, direct fitment, so it doesn't require any modifications or anything. So I just took out the, the old one and I put in the aftermarket one and it's, it takes literally five minutes to, to swap it out. So next thing we need, we need to do is uh, install this uh, control board. Uh, I, I cannot call it control board, but it's a kind of control board. So, so what it does is, this is this is happening like this. So you, instead of the wires from the the uh, control board, the the origin, the stock uh, control board going directly to the to the hash hash boards. What it what what we need is we need to connect the wires to this control board first, and then the signal will be changed from the control board going to the hash boards. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this, and we're gonna put it in the immersion uh, cooling tank and do some overclocking. Okay, then, then installing the, uh, this control board. Just give, give you a quick look. So what happens now here is you have all the connections, uh, data connections as well as power supply Everything goes through this uh, this uh, circuit board, and then uh, the signal will be modified in in order to achieve uh, you know higher frequencies as well as higher voltage. So basically, this miner is ready to go into the immersion cooling tank. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and put it inside. Uh, of course, after taking off all the fans, so we don't need them. We're gonna do that, and we'll take you through the miner's interface and. 
show you how much we can push this 95 tera hash uh, in terms of hash rate as well as power consumption. Let's do it. All right, so now we go to the next step, which is putting the miner into this uh, immersion tank. So as you can see, we already have a few units inside. The one we just uh, upgraded was this one. So this is 95 tera hash. We just took off the fans and actually we just turned on the miner and it's gonna just waiting for it to start uh, uh, load the uh, firmware. Uh, waiting for that, we're gonna do it and just give you a quick, a quick look around and explain again how this immersion cooling tank works exactly. So just to the people that missed maybe the last video or you know uh, want to, to know exactly what's going on. So basically this is a two loop uh, cooling system. So what we have here, the first loop is the, uh, the fluid here within the tank. So the immersion fluid is here. So what happens is it comes from the bottom, taking the heat up from the uh, hash boards and then it's, it's flowing to the other side of the tank, which has, as you can see, you have uh, a pipe that is uh, recirculating the, sucking the oil from here, the hot, hot oil from here, and then taking it to the other part, which is located here. Show you really quick. So what we have here is we have that hot hot side of the uh, coolant coming through here to this heat exchanger, and this heat exchanger uh, exchanges the heat with uh, the other part, which is the cold part, which is using water. So we have our water cooling plugged in here, and we have the uh, the uh, the cooling fluid recirculating through here as you can see and what we have here is a is a fuel pump that is keeping the pressure and keeping the fluid uh, going through the uh, the miners and here we have the uh, the water cooling side which goes into the outside where we have the cooling tower or the cheating tower as some some people call it and recirculating through there and taking the heat out of the another feature that this uh, Immersion cooling tank that has a very, uh, this is a safety feature. So as you can see here, what we have here is, what we see here is the current temperature, the oil temperature, not the chips temperature. This is the oil temperature within the tank. And what you see here, the 50 is a set. So you can change that 50 to whichever uh, temperature you want. The system to shut down after the, uh, the oil reaches that temperature. It's, it's recommended not to uh, exceed 60. So anything above 60, means that your your silicon chips are getting into 80s 90s degrees so 50 it's a safe it's a safe margin just to keep your uh, miners cool and running all right so the miner has been uh, submerged into the tank and it's up and running uh, it's been up for about five minutes uh, let me show you and here is the hash rate we're running currently it's at 125 average it's been running for seven minutes at eight minutes and just keep in mind, we're not using any aftermarket firmware, so this is the original firmware. What we did is we add that extra board that uh, allows you the overclocking. So if you go down here, we can see uh, we have four hash boards. Actually, the, this miner, the uh, 95 has only three hash boards. The reason why we're seeing that is because uh, the, the uh, control board that we add has four ports so it, it will show an extra hash board which is not doesn't exist and as if we check the temperature here let me show you a little bit closer so if you check the temperature here we have the same temperatures here and this is like a virtual this is like a virtual uh, hash board add to the to the to the system so that's how you increase your uh, hash rate but ignore this so the temperatures right now is about 40 49 48 for the three hash boards and the hash, the hash rate is pretty stable at 125. So we gained about 30, 30 to a hash. Uh, we, we, we can push the, the miner uh, like uh, for more hash rate, but uh, for, for now, we're just gonna keep it this way. Let me just show you the temperature of the fluid within the, uh, the tank. So as we can see here, 30 degrees for the for the oil within the tank and the temperature here for the hash boards are about 50. 
49. So the difference actually it's about 20 degrees uh, Celsius. So just keep in mind that you have 20 degrees difference between your chips, chip temperature and your, uh, uh, your actual oil temperature. We reached the maximum hash rate of 125 terahash uh, using this control board. But I think if we, if you want to achieve even a better result, I think we have to go uh, like an aftermarket uh, firmware where you can control. Uh, we have a lot of control over the software. So we're gonna be doing a part two video uh, for this uh, immersion cooling and overclocking thing. So gonna be a part two where we're gonna be using one of the uh, most available uh, aftermarket firmwares there, such as Brain OS or. The niche or whichever we think it's uh, gives us more benefits so stay tuned guys if you haven't followed uh, our channel please subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next video